Did you know that you have the capability of reaching a global audience by having a multilingual form? Let me show you how. Hey, Job Formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for form translation. So like I mentioned, if you can get your form in front of a global audience, what would that do to your submission count? And honestly, it is so simple to do. So we're gonna cover some of the things on this landing page, so make sure you come back to this for all of the full details, but let's go ahead and jump over to my form. Now, in order to make this form multilingual, it is very simple. We're gonna to head to the top middle button, Settings, and we're gonna choose the Show More Options. Now, as we scroll down, the first thing we need to do is we need to choose the form language, because we can see right here, Translations, the Edit button is grayed out. We need to choose what the original language of our form is in. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English, and now we can edit that translation. We're going to add a form language, and for this example, I'm just gonna do Spanish. We'll add a form language. And here you can see that it is already translated for me. We have the English on the left and the Spanish on the right, and if we need to edit anything, we can do that here. We also have the ability to edit the form warnings. But now that we have done this, we can come up here to Preview Form, and we see right here it's in English. We can change it over to Spanish. Perfect. All right. Next up, let me go ahead and close out of the preview. Now let's change what the thank you page looks like. So over on the left-hand side, we'll do conditions. We're going to change the thank you page. So let's say if the language is equal to Spanish, we're going to display a custom message on submission. And here we can edit this to be in Spanish. Make the font size a little bit bigger, perfect. Go ahead and save that. Now, another thing that we can do is we can change the autoresponder email. So over on the left-hand side, we'll come up here to our emails. We'll add a new email, a new autoresponder email. Now here, we can come up here and change this autoresponder to, we can have this say Spanish. We'll apply, and we can change everything here to be Spanish for our user. Now, once you have everything edited to the language that you see fit, we're gonna go ahead and save. We have that Spanish version, but if we head back over to conditions, we can add a new condition. We can change the email recipient. So again, language, if it is equal to Spanish, we're going to send right here the Spanish and then we have that email, perfect. We'll go ahead and save that. And it really is as simple as that. Using that multilingual form with conditions can help you reach a global audience. If you have any other questions, let us know down below in the comments and don't forget to check out that features landing page for more information. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.